The most powerful storm to hit the United States in more than a decade. Millions of people are about to experience a living nightmare. Hurricane warnings in effect. And you and everyone you know are dead because you can't survive it. It's not possible. Earlier this year, weathermen took to the airwaves, declaring Hurricane Matthew an unprecedentedly dangerous storm, one that would rage and ravage. Millions along the East Coast were instructed to evacuate, and many did. The storm hit land like no other, bringing widespread destruction and catastrophic loss of life during its journey across the Western Atlantic. For shelter and supplies after this devastating storm, communities turned to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA. But for a clear sense of how bad things really are, FEMA turns to Waffle House. Due to Waffle House's reputation for staying open during extreme weather and for reopening quickly, albeit sometimes with a limited menu, FEMA now uses what they like to call the Waffle House Index. This index sits alongside more formal measurements, such as wind, rainfall, and the Saphir-Simpson hurricane scale, which are all used to indicate the intensity of a storm. The index itself is constructed of three levels based on the extent of operations and service at the restaurant following a storm. Green means the restaurant is serving a full menu, a signal that damage in an area is limited and utilities are on. Yellow means a limited menu, indicating power from a generator at best and low food supplies. Red means the restaurant is closed, a sign of severe damage in the area, or there are unsafe surrounding conditions. Very rarely does the index ever venture into the red. However, on October 6, 2016, just before Hurricane Matthew broke land, all Waffle House restaurants along Florida's I-95 between Titusville and Fort Pierce were closed due to unsafe conditions and loss of power. So what makes Waffle Houses so telling? For one, their chain has 500 locations throughout the South, with plenty being located in prime hurricane and tornado territory. This constant looming threat has led Waffle House to be an industry leader in disaster preparedness. They have a fleet of portable generators, operates a mobile command center to assist in disaster recovery, and train employees in crisis management to ensure that it can resume operations as quickly as possible, often within hours. By no means is this index a true scientific indicator. However, with each passing year, its accuracy continues to increase, allowing them to pass real-time data they obtain to FEMA, which in turn helps FEMA respond to the people that need their assistance. Thanks for watching this episode of Top Science Facts. We love that you guys leave comments, so make sure that you do that. And if you like our videos, make sure to subscribe and tell others about our channel. Any little bit helps. Thanks.